I didn't uh, know what to do, so I'm going to share a culture and, and talk a little bit about the reasons why you know, I'll get out and, and talk about and support art and culture and history in the community because I believe that's important. If you don't have that and if you don't understand what made the community what it is today, then how are you going to really fight to, to make sure that it continues to, to, to move forward and preserve areas? Right, preserve areas that, that still that we can bring our kids to and talk about the history and culture of areas from all walks of life. So these beautiful pictures could be painted. I mean, this is what we have to do. And, and just coming out here and spending this time here to speak and having you and, and inviting me out here is great. But I want to share a little bit about the culture and the history of this area here, specifically with the Serrano and, and the Kahuilla people. So I wanted to share a couple songs and explain them because the songs end up being um, part of what nature is. And then uh, the different things like the, the pots and the baskets that were woven incorporated a lot of that art here in this area. And this area up here in Oak Glen, um, around October, uh, November, when the acorns um, start to bloom, this would have been an area where people would come and gather the acorns to create um, um, Wee Wish, which is acorn mills. So there's a lot of um, cultural history associated with this area, but I wanted to sh share with you a couple songs, and the songs that, that we sing are with um, gourd rattles. These are this is the traditional instrument from this area. Drums were pretty much foreign to this area. We use gourd rattles, alderberry flutes, and uh, hoofs of animals, bighorn sheep, for our songs. And the white rose singers out of Sherman, they come out and they share culture, and that's great. Um, and so it's about culture, and it's about learning things, right? And it's not just one culture dominant over another. Today we talk about and celebrate art and culture and history of everything. Everything that made the community what it is today. Not just here in Oak Glen, but throughout the state of California and San Bernardino County. But I'd like to share a couple songs with you. This um, first song is actually a bighorn sheep song. And it, it talks about the bighorn sheep and searching for the bighorn sheep. So, I mean, all the artists that are here, when you talk about um, songs and you start talking about searching for the bighorn sheep and actually going out on those hunts, then your mind starts to, you could picture some of these things. And this festival would be done, it would be done before you would actually go out and hunt the bighorn sheep. You would sing these songs, a series of songs, and somebody would come in dressed just like a bighorn sheep and would be kicking. Mm. And if people were in the room and there's an aisle opened up, the older people sat away from the aisle and the younger ones were closer to the aisle because when the guys come in and they're kicking, they're just kicking wild and sometimes they kick the people on the side. So after you've been kicked a couple times, then you know the next year, move over a little bit, right? And so part of the history and culture is always kind of like watching what the older ones do. And if they start to move this way, you kind of start to go that way after, after a while. You learn from that. But this song talks about searching for the bighorn sheep. That these songs would be sung, and then you would actually go out and hunt for the bighorn sheep, which is from this area, the big mammal from this area. Joy Bablo and no Eva, Joy Bablo and no Eva, Apu, Pa a Patin Iva, Apu, Pa a Patin Iva, Joy Bablo and no Eva, Joy Bablo and no Eva, Apu, Pa a Patin Iva, Apu, Pa a Patin Iva, Joy Bablo and no Eva, Joy Bablo and no Eva. Joy, Bablo, and 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 Joy, Bablo, and